a good idea, though. <laughs> Do you feel new yet? We've shown you yoga, we've shown you feng shui, cooking with superfoods, and how to improve your love life. Okay, now, what about that career? Whether you need to start one or get a new one started, Catherine Bayer joins us here on Peachtree Morning to help you out. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Where do you start? Where do you start yes. with a career? Well, you start by knowing that it's completely normal to be needing to career transition. It's very common in today's society to want to shift careers for different reasons. Most fall under the category of changing priorities and values. So how do you go about looking at that? There's three basic steps I'm going to talk about today. Okay. One is, three parts actually, mm -hmm. assessing your interests, your needs, and your skills. Okay. Oh. So in terms of interests, um, what is it that you love to talk about? What sections of a bookstore do you gravitate toward? What things do you look up on the internet? Those are some of the things that interest you. Um, in terms of skills, what do you remember people saying about you? Like, she's a great organizer, or she's really good at making people feel comfortable, those mm -hmm. kinds of things. Because skills fall in three categories. There's people skills, where you solve problems through feeling and connecting with other people. There's data skills, where you solve problems through information. Mm -hmm. And then there's thing skills, where you solve problems by doing things. So that's something to look at. And there's all kinds of different assessments that we use. Well, how do you find out about where you find these jobs that match your skills? Well, doing research. That's a really good question. Um, you can research jobs via the internet, typing in a keyword and then um, exploring that way. And then the second step, two really important books that are in every library are the Dictionary of Occupational Titles okay. and, the, and the Occupational Outlook Handbook are two really important sources in the library. And then the final step with this that I'm going to talk about today is networking, very That's important, yeah. very, yeah. very important, and information interviewing, which is just a fantastic tool where you contact people, say I'm interested in counseling, which of course I am, and I would want to find out more about that position, and I did this in the course of my career transition. I talked to different people in different aspects of the field. Mm -hmm. So say somebody who works in a government agency and does counseling, somebody who does counseling in private practice, and then somebody at a university, and you actually call them because people like to be helpful generally oh. and you say I'm interested in transitioning careers and I'd like to talk to you about what you do in the field and you go to their place of business that's a really important part so mm -hmm. that you can feel environments important as we've learned today sure. um, to see what it feels like there now what was your transition I went actually from industrial organizational psychology into counseling because it was there was a fit for me that was much better and I did lots of research on it with the tools I told you about. Okay, what about transitioning if you're the quote unquote CEO of the house? Now explain what you okay, mean by that. Okay, what, what we mean by that is there are people who, it is a full time job to run a home mm -hmm. with, especially with children, but even you know paying bills, organizing, making sure everything flows smoothly to run a family and a household. So what if that's your position and you don't necessarily want to go back into the work world, but you want to feel more connected because health-wise it is so important to feel a sense of connection and to feel recognition. A lot of times the quote CEOs of a home don't feel that sense of acknowledgement or appreciation that, that sometimes you get from working out in the world. Joining a club, any kind of club, whether it's an athletic one that has childcare, um, religious organization, joining a committee, being active. The second thing that I would suggest today is creating your own interest group. Um, say it's, I want to organize my home and finances better. Creating a group of like-minded people who that's important to as well, and each person gets a homework assignment for the week and reports in on what tip, new tips they found for the week and trying those out. And then the third thing that is so much fun is creating a vision collage. We've talked about a new you, and what I help people do is find the real you. It's an evolving process in life, connecting with your soul and who you are out in the world. Take images from magazines, newspapers, all the mail we get, mm -hmm. the, the catalogs, mm -hmm. Um, cutting out images that touch your soul in some way and putting those on about a quarter of a piece of poster board and putting that in a place in your home. I've done these for about 15 years and they are just incredibly wow, really? powerful tools for manifesting what you want in your life. We just heard feng shui, yeah. your environment, your surroundings, what you surround yourself with and the energy that you put around you is important. A picture is worth a thousand words, they say. Oh. And it is so true and so helpful for connecting with that sense of self. And that's what I do. I'm a success coach. I help people find out where their heart is, what their passion is, and 
That way you can live with more peace and oh. purpose and power in your life. There you I feel go. inspired all the time. Thank you very Thank much, Thank you Catherine. very much. Thanks, Catherine. Thank you. And for more advice, call Catherine at 770-432-7646.